Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, school is starting for so many of you and that is so cool. Uh, this year you guys get to do school a little bit differently, which is really fun because it's always cool to learn in a different way. Um, I know it's a little weird, but send me your pictures of where you're doing school. Are you in your kitchen on your kitchen table? Do you have a cool little desk put on the side? Are you doing it in your bedroom on the floor? Where are you doing school? Send me your pictures, especially those first day pictures of you and your PJs, okay? Okay, so today we're going to learn another story about Jesus. Okay, so this story comes from the New Testament, which is at the end of the Bible. So this is actually mentioned in four different books. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's in four different books because those are the four Gospels, and those used to tell the story about Jesus' life here on earth. So read each one to see which one is your favorite. I personally like John because I like the way he writes, but you might like a different one. So let me know, okay? Okay, so if you remember, Jesus used to travel around and tell stories to the communities. He would share God's word and let people know who God was and share his love. Well, in one of those times, somebody asked Jesus, hey Jesus, does God have favorites? It's a really interesting question, right? How many of you have ever asked your mom or dad, like, I'm the favorite child, right? So it's something that we would all probably feel and want to ask. So Jesus told a parable. A parable is basically a really different story, like an illustration story that tells a special meaning without actually coming out and saying it. So he would tell a story and they would have to think about it to understand the purpose of the story. So this is the story of the lost sheep. Okay, so if you remember in Jesus' time, they had shepherds. And the shepherds were in charge of all of the sheep. They would travel around with them. They would make sure they ate. They would make sure they slept. They would make sure they were safe. Sometimes it was one guy. Sometimes it was a couple of guys. And sometimes they had like a hundred sheep. And sometimes they had a couple of hundred sheep. So it was a really, really important job. And it took a lot of time and effort. So Jesus' story is about one sheep who goes missing. So he's saying, if there was a shepherd that had a hundred sheep and one of them went away, what would he do? So Jesus tells them he would go and search everywhere for that one sheep. Even though he had 99 who were there and safe, he would do whatever he could to find that one. Now, that sounds kind of weird because it's like, are you going to put the 99 in danger just to find one? But think about it from that sheep's perspective. Like, don't you think that sheep would be like, please come and help me. Please save me. I need help. And it's not like Jesus is saying the shepherd would just abandon the 99. That's not true. He would make sure they were safe and protected before he left to find that last one. Basically, Jesus is saying... The shepherd would do everything possible to find his missing sheep. So how does that tie into stuff, right? What is the point of that? So basically what Jesus is saying is that God watches over all of us. And when one of us strays or one of us is sinning and we turn our backs to God, he's still there looking for us and waiting for us because he wants to bring us home safely. So there's no favorites. It's not like God has like favorites because, you know, Pastor John is the pastor, so he's in charge of this whole church. So he gets bonus points. That's not how it works. We're all at the same level. God doesn't care who's favorite. God cares about what our hearts are. So as long as our hearts love God and we do everything we can to live the life that Jesus tells us, then he doesn't care who's more important or not. It's not how God works. So God will look for us and search for us and do everything possible to bring us back so that he can protect us and keep us with his whole sheep community, I guess. <laughs> so that we're all under his own shepherding. So what does that mean for you? It means that no matter what you do, God will always be there looking for you. A lot of people worry that they sin too much or they're just not right in their heart and that God would never want them, but that's not true at all. God wants each and every one of us to love him and to be in his kingdom one day when we all get to go to heaven. So this week, talk to your parents about it. Ask them if they know the story of the lost sheep. It's a pretty big story. And ask them what they think of that meeting. Do you think it's right for the shepherd to leave everybody to go find the one? 
Or do you think we need to remember that that one needs that one shepherd to come find them at all times, right? All right, guys, have a great week. I hope I see you next week and enjoy your first week of school.